anytime I go into grocery stores, you know, when I'm out grabbing my, uh, you know, my extra small Magnum condoms for the hot woman I have sex with on the daily, <laughs> sometimes I get a bit anxious in these stores, you know, like, hey, what if someone comes in the store and tries to rob everyone? Like, what if, like, what if someone comes in and just tries to stick everybody up? You know, just comes in with some, some big ass bazookas, or maybe they bring in some weird ass alien technology, open up the registers and do it real slow. Hey, look, bro, you got all the money you want, all right? Just tell me where you got that fucking gun from. But at least I can rely on the brave and valiant security guards that stand watch. Yeah, you know, the brave and valiant security guards that look like they haven't eaten in 20 days. You know, maybe growing up in low income neighborhoods have warped my impression of what actual security guards are supposed to look like, but the ones I've seen, I really wonder how these interviews are supposed to go. Do you own a gun? No. Do you have a permit to own a gun? No. Let's say, for instance, we put you in this ring of fire with this, this two month baby we just found at the local daycare. Would you be able to overpower him? Probably not. You're hired with a bonus pay. Let's forget the fact that a lot of these security guards are out of shape, right? You know, they're they're either completely malnourished and look like they just got off the set of Game of Thrones season eight, or, you know, it's the complete opposite. And they look like they just ate the, the last security guard that was working there. You know, I go up to some of these security guards and I'll hear them breathing heavily, like just, just wheezing. Yo, 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 what's wrong, bro? You need some water? What, what happened? You, you, you just chased someone? You, you just save a, a pregnant woman from getting mugged? Like, tell me, man. Let me help you out. I, I, I've been standing here for 25 minutes. Let's forget all that, right? Let's forget that you're a weak, unathletic piece of shit. Why do you not own a gun? Some of these security guards only own a taser. A taser? What the fuck is that gonna do? Someone comes in here with a damn AK-47 about to turn our bones into Swiss cheese. You pull out this pocket pussy taser? You kidding me? And I kinda get it though, you know? I, I kinda understand that security guards aren't actually supposed to keep us safe. They're supposed to give the illusion of safety, you know, the illusion that someone's watching, you know, to keep people from stealing, now, especially during the night times. But every now and then, I wonder, I always wonder how a security guard would handle a stick up situation. Man, we're such good robbers, bro. We got the exit secured. We got snipers outside aimed at everyone's head just in case they try to make a move. What could possibly go wrong? Put down the bags of money. Huh? The security guard? We got this entire place pinned down. What are you going to do about it? Heh. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Whoa, whoa. Is, is that a taser? Bro, we're fucked. We we're so fucked, bro. Hey, relax, bro. We, we can get through this. We just have to what stick together. <laughs> oh, no. I only have approximately a whole minute and a half to walk out of here at a slightly brisk pace before he can reload his taser. Or I can literally just walk backwards a few feet out of his effective range. Whatever will I do? 